for those that are suggesting that there seems to be a strategy on clamping down uh, on who comes in and who stays. Uh, and I know that this is not a South African uh, mm. only issue, right? But it appears that there is greater consideration than perhaps in the past as to who comes into the South African economy under which circumstances uh, or not than before? I, I, I think definitely additional regulations are being put in place um, to regulate more closely um, who, 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 is, who is granted visas um, and allowed to take up employment um, in South Africa, absolutely. And, and, and would that be the reason why there is a general nervousness, um, at least that I'm picking up from foreign mm-hmm. nationals, uh, particularly those from the uh, African continent, that there seems to be an agenda to diminish the numbers of foreign uh, African uh, nationals working in South Africa. Is there then some merit to that fear? I, I would imagine that it probably comes from... Um, many little things that happen over many years that all start adding up. Um, so if we look at the the ZDP regime that, that is has been put forward to be end to be ended and then the, the court case that assumed after that. The Angola regime that was that was looked at being ended a couple of years ago. Then you look at this new Employment Services Act that looks to further regulate um, the employment of foreign nationals. You look at the new critical skills list that got into pl- that put was put into place that that further reduced the number of occupations that are on the list. So if you put all of that together, and depending on what lens you are wearing, then then I can certainly see how um, there there is a a view that there is it's it's becoming more and more difficult um, to 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 secure a visa in South Africa.